Hi, I'm here with the guys from Shelfari. Can you guys introduce yourselves and talk a little bit about your company? Uh, my name is Josh Hug. I'm the CEO of Shelfari. I'm Kevin Dortle. I'm one of the, uh, the lead engineers at Shelfari. And uh, we started Shelfari about a year ago. We launched our website, um, and we're really excited about its potential and what we're doing. Um, it's a social media site for people that love to read books. So a lot of social networks really focus on purely your social connections as they relate to your friends and communicating with your friends. What we're able to do is allow you to create a virtual bookshelf and put your books on a virtual bookshelf on the internet and then share those with your friends. Great. Can you talk a little bit about why you decided to work with us on Open Social? So we're really super excited about taking the Shelfari experience and moving it wherever um, our users are at. So we don't, we don't want to limit the user experience to just a single website. And we want to be able to allow our users to take the books in their bookshelves and put them on um, whatever experience that they have. So we currently have a Facebook application. We have a really cool blog widget. And we have a MySpace widget. And we, we've, one of the strategies that we've really had a, made a concerted effort for is to allow people to take their books and the social experiences that are associated with, with them wherever they want to go. So as soon as we, re we found out that Google was going to be creating a social platform, we were super excited and we were, we were ready to jump on it 100% because we know that it's very important for us to take the book experience and put it, put it within the worlds where users communicate. So um, what, what in the open social, uh, what in open social are you leveraging for your application? Well, I'll let Kevin answer the technical details. Um, one of the things that I'm most excited about is the potential of open social. Um, even beyond the initial applications we're going to show you a little bit later, um, because we want to allow Shelfari to go wherever our users are at, the idea that we have a, a, a a layer of social information that we can access from anywhere on the internet eventually is something that we're super excited about. And I'll let Kevin go into a little bit more detail about the APIs that we're using currently. It's been really nice actually working with Orkut. There's been a lot of growing pains definitely as it's a, a rapid application environment for sure. But um, there's been a lot of thought going into how do you um, go beyond a particular container and into multiple containers and to see where Google is going with that and starting with Orkut and moving beyond is really neat. So um, some, of the, some of the things that we're using that Google has um, put a lot of effort into without doubt is um, caching and you know really taking advantage of your social networks. and. Um, perhaps one of the most exciting, though, is really the, the JavaScript environment. So it's a really client-side driven. Um, you can do a lot of things really quickly, and it's just it creates a very seamless application. And it, it's starting to feel a little less like browsing through a website and more of interacting with my data, how I want it and where I want it. So um, I understand that you guys you had Shelfari.com before you started making apps and widgets and everything. Um, did you find that you were able to reuse a lot of code? Did you have to start from scratch almost to, to integrate with these environments? So definitely our back-end data structures or database interactions, and that's all reused very much. Um, in terms of the front end, we've definitely um, been able to reuse some code, but at the same time, we want to create a, an environment that's you know specific to the container. And so with Facebook and Shelfari.com, there is some amount of reused code. Now looking at Orkut, where it's really it's starting out, it's really trying to be that client-side library, we're actually noticing that's very similar to our, our widget extensions and how do you take your bookshelf and put it on an individual page. It's all about JavaScript. And so there's been um, some extractions that we've been able to do there, but it's the Orchid experience has definitely been um, a new experience for us in terms of the front-end client. Yeah, I look at that and say that we're going to be utilizing the front end, though, in numerous places moving forward that we're building with an Orchid. Great. So, like, um, in the coming months, what do you hope Google focuses on here? Like, which features or what would you really like to see that would help Shelfari? I mean, I, I really uh, just would love to see them continue executing at a rapid pace towards the end goal. Um, because I think the sooner that we get to the end goal where you have a social API that's truly a social platform for the internet, um, the sooner we're going to be able to enable some of the user scenarios that um, we have in our heads right now, but we can't really build until we get the API supports for. What kind of uh, what's in store in the next couple of months for Safari? Like, which user experiences or user scenarios? I are you mean, the, about? the biggest thing is is being able to track your your social information around about your books wherever you're at on the internet. 
Um, so whether I'm in Facebook, whether I'm in Orkut, whether I'm on shelfairy.com, being able to have a, a common layer that tracks my books and tracks my social experiences relating to those books. Great. Well, can we see this? Can we check it yeah. out? So you can see it's a very graphical representation of my shelf as Amy. You can see my book reviews. You can see my ratings on this book. And we'll jump into some of the other environments in a bit and show you those. But we're also looking at ways of how do you leverage more social information. And so we've got some really exciting plans that we have for the consumer launch of Orca to layer social information. So maybe I'm selecting a book and all of a sudden I can see my friends with this book and I can see their opinions. And how do we leverage that and make it very accessible to the user and to Amy in this case? I'm going to jump over and look at Amy's friends. And so you can see that you know Amy has friends here. Um, and we can display a lot of additional information that goes beyond just a friend count. Maybe it's their books or other um, interesting bits of social information in, in its relationship to Shofari. Later, we can jump over and we can see the updates around Amy's network. And no longer is it just updates in the, the ORCID sense, where it's updates around your friends or some other type of stream, but it's perhaps updates around um, books that I'm monitoring or what my, my or what Amy's friends are doing on ORCID.com. And so um, we can really d display a lot of additional value add content there. Uh, it's no longer just looking at your friends as a means of connection, but we can look at um, books as a means of connecting you to others. Of course, we don't want to necessarily force people into a shelfari.com experience. And so what we're going to do is actually enable people to just use our gadget uh, without any real knowledge of um, shelfari.com. And they can just install the gadget and build a bookshelf. To do that, I'll just really quickly show you. We're searching. That was a, a back-end hit against our database. Um, I'm going to add a book to my shelf. And I'll remove a book from my shelf as well. And you can see it's JavaScript. It's very quick. Um, it makes a back-end call. I'm going to go ahead and refresh and show you my bookshelf. And I removed a short history of everything. And I added a second book. So I've added, removed the book, A Short History of Everything, and I just added, I believe, The History of Love. So it's, you know, this is nice um, that we can span this data. And of course, we can jump into here in a minute and show you um, how this spans across multiple environments. So again, this is the first person view of Amy. And what we can also do from here, our friends, you know, we can click through and I can see a third person view of Josh or Kevin's shelf. And in that case, it's going to be Josh's shelf and his interactions with his books or his friends and what his friends are doing on shelfari.com and, um, you know, the updates that he's receiving. and. We can, of course, tailor that so that it's specific, perhaps, to books that we're interested in or maybe friends that we have in common. But it's really extracting that social information and displaying it. That's great. Uh, do you guys have anything to add about, about Shelfari or Open Social? We're really excited about where it's going. We're really excited about um, what we've been able to do in a very short period of time thus far, working with the APIs. And we're really excited to continue to work with Google to make it the best it can be.